Imagine deciding to skip breakfast this morning and not eating again until tomorrow evening. It sounds simple enough, yet beneath your awareness, something extraordinary may begin to unfold. Your body, this intricate biological masterpiece, can start adjusting in ways that feel almost intentional, as if it's rewriting its own instruction manual. Most people think intermittent fasting is about willpower or weight loss, but here's what they don't realize. Within hours of your last meal, your organs begin a conversation they rarely get to have. A quiet negotiation between systems that have been interrupted by constant feeding for years, perhaps decades. Your digestive tract, usually humming with the work of breaking down meals, enters an unfamiliar stillness. The stomach, accustomed to regular waves of food, begins to contract in gentle, rhythmic pulses. These aren't hunger pangs exactly, but rather, your body's way of cleaning house, sweeping away remnants and preparing for what comes next. Meanwhile, your pancreas experiences something it hasn't felt in a long time. Relief. This small but mighty organ, typically working overtime to produce insulin after every meal, finally gets to rest. Insulin levels begin their gradual descent, and with this drop, your cells receive a different kind of signal entirely. But here's the part most people never hear about. As insulin fades from your bloodstream, fat cells across your body may start unlocking their stored energy. It's not dramatic or sudden, instead it's like doors quietly opening throughout your system, releasing fuel that's been waiting patiently for its moment. Your liver, that silent chemical factory tucked beneath your ribs, begins one of its most remarkable transformations. Within the first 12 hours, it can shift from processing incoming nutrients to becoming an energy provider. Glycogen stores, your body's immediate backup fuel, may begin flowing into your bloodstream as glucose, helping maintain the delicate balance your brain requires. Yet, what happens next surprises even researchers who study metabolic adaptation. Your brain, initially resistant to this change in fuel supply, may begin producing something called brain-derived neurotrophic factor. This molecule acts like fertilizer for neural connections, strengthening the pathways responsible for focus and mental clarity. Studies suggest that this neurological shift can help explain why many people report heightened concentration during their first fasting experiences. Your mind isn't just coping with less fuel, it's actually optimizing how it uses the fuel available. Around the 18-hour mark, your body crosses an invisible threshold. The liver begins producing ketones, small molecules crafted from fat that can cross the blood-brain barrier. These aren't just alternative fuel sources. They represent your body's ancient wisdom, a backup system refined over thousands of years of human evolution. Your cells, those microscopic engineers working tirelessly throughout your system, start shifting their energy production methods Mitochondria, the tiny powerhouses within each cell, become more efficient at generating energy from fat rather than sugar. This transition happens so smoothly that you might not even notice it consciously. But here's where the story inside your body quietly shifts. While your energy levels might fluctuate on the surface, something profound is occurring at the cellular level. A process called autophagy begins to stir. This is your body's internal recycling program where damaged proteins and malfunctioning cellular components are tagged, broken down, and repurposed. Think of it as spring cleaning at the microscopic level. Your cells begin identifying parts that no longer serve them well, dismantling these components, and using their raw materials to build newer, more efficient structures. This process, largely dormant during constant feeding, awakens during fasting periods. Your immune system also begins to respond in unexpected ways. White blood cells, typically focused on immediate threats, start a different kind of work. They begin clearing out older, less effective immune cells, making room for fresh ones to develop. A 2019 study observed that this immune renewal process may begin within just 72 hours of fasting. Meanwhile, your nervous system starts its own quiet recalibration. The sympathetic nervous system, responsible for your fight or flight responses, initially becomes more active. This might explain why some people feel slightly alert or even restless during their first fasting experiences. But this isn't stress in the harmful sense. It's your body's way of maintaining awareness while adapting to its new rhythm. Your heart begins working with improved efficiency as well. Blood pressure can decrease as your cardiovascular system adapts to lower insulin levels and reduced inflammation. The heart rate may slow slightly, not from weakness, but from optimization. 
your circulatory system is learning to do its work with less effort. What unfolds after the seventh day changes everything internally. But the real transformation begins much earlier than most people realize, in those first crucial 72 hours when your body makes its most dramatic metabolic shift. As you enter your fourth day of intermittent fasting, something unexpected begins to happen. The initial hunger signals that once felt overwhelming start to quiet, replaced by a different kind of awareness. Your body has learned a new rhythm, one it hasn't experienced since childhood when meals were naturally spaced further apart. Your liver, now fully adapted to its role as energy provider, begins producing ketones with remarkable efficiency. These small molecules, crafted from your stored fat, travel through your bloodstream like skilled messengers. When they reach your brain, they don't just provide fuel. They may trigger the release of something called norepinephrine, a neurotransmitter associated with focus and mental clarity. This helps explain why many people report feeling unusually alert during their first week of intermittent fasting. Your mind isn't fighting against deprivation. It's actually accessing an ancient state of heightened awareness, one that helped our ancestors remain sharp and focused during times when food required hunting or gathering. But here's the part that most people never hear about. While your brain adapts to this new fuel source, your digestive system undergoes its own quiet revolution. The gut lining, typically working constantly to process incoming food, finally gets the time it needs for deep repair work. Intestinal cells may begin regenerating at an accelerated pace, strengthening the barrier that protects your bloodstream from unwanted substances. Your microbiome, that vast community of bacteria living in your intestines, starts shifting its composition. Beneficial bacteria that thrive during fasting periods can begin to flourish, while others that depend on constant sugar intake naturally decrease. This microbial rebalancing happens silently, yet its effects ripple throughout your entire system, influencing everything from mood to immune function. Around the fifth day, your cells begin demonstrating their most remarkable adaptation yet. The process of autophagy, that cellular recycling program we mentioned earlier, reaches its peak efficiency. Think of it as your body's most thorough housekeeping session, one that only happens when the constant work of digestion finally pauses. Damaged mitochondria, those tiny power plants within your cells, are carefully dismantled and replaced with newer, more efficient versions. Old proteins that have accumulated cellular wear are broken down and their components repurposed. Even your brain cells participate in this renewal process, clearing away waste products that can accumulate during normal daily function. What researchers find particularly fascinating is how this cellular cleanup may influence inflammation throughout your body. Inflammatory markers in your bloodstream can begin dropping, not because you're taking any medication, but because your cells are simply getting the chance to repair themselves properly. Your nervous system responds to these changes with its own subtle recalibration. The parasympathetic nervous system, responsible for rest and repair functions, becomes more dominant. This shift may help explain why many people experience deeper sleep quality during intermittent fasting, even though they might feel slightly different during waking hours. By the seventh day, your body has orchestrated something remarkable. What began as a simple decision to change when you eat has become a symphony of cellular renewal, metabolic adaptation, and quiet healing. Your organs have found their natural rhythm, your cells have cleaned house, and your brain has discovered an ancient clarity it rarely experiences in our constantly fed world. Yet, perhaps the most beautiful part of this transformation is how gentle it truly is. Your body remembers every choice, even the gentle ones. Each moment of fasting becomes a gift you give to systems that work tirelessly on your behalf, allowing them the space they need to repair, restore, and renew themselves from within. If learning how your body and brain quietly respond to everyday choices brings you clarity, consider subscribing to Vivalabs for more calm, science-based explanations. Vivalabs, where your body tells its quiet stories.